Jenkins, man. She just walked in the building right on time, Miss Bernice Jenkins. Let him use you. Let him heal you. Let him heal you. Let him heal you. Let him heal you. Let the Lord love you a long time. <laughs> Let him heal you a yes. long time. Yes. Let him bless you a yes. long time. Ooh, ah, ooh, <laughs> ah, ooh. <laughs> Good morning, Janie. Good morning. Janie. Mom. How you feeling this morning? Woke up this morning with this rheumatoid arthritis <laughs> and grabbed my knee this morning. I, <laughs> I said, the devil is a lie. <laughs> I don't mind arthritis, but that rheumatoid. <laughs> <laughs> That's black folks' arthritis. White people have arthritis. Black people oh, have rheumatoid arthritis. <laughs> <laughs> that means it's hurting a little worse. You got to go to the VA for that. Don't know how to help you with rheumatoid arthritis, but the VA. (laughs) 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 The mother board is asking special prayer for Mother Beulah Brown. You know Beulah Brown? Yeah. And she said that she is going to be voting for Donald Trump. And you know, she's an animal lover. And she said that she heard him say on tape that he like, that he loved to grab stray cats and take them home. <laughs> <laughs> and now she think he's a good man. Oh. And they were trying to explain to her that he ain't talking about no cat. Not that kind of cat. That other kind of cat. <laughs> That wolf cat. <laughs> that cookie cat. <laughs> that kid cat. <laughs> that cat look like a man with no teeth. <laughs> or a mustache. <laughs> that, that ain't what he's talking about. She needs to know. All members who are dark-skinned with real nappy hair Mm-mm. who want to audition for the Nat Turner role in the church production of Birth of a Nation, Gossel's play need to be at the church tomorrow at 2 o'clock p.m. <laughs> so there will be a whipping scene, so please bring a large jar of Vaseline and put it, <laughs> and put it on your back first. They're using a real whip? They're using a real whip, so put the Vaseline. Bring some Mercuricone. <laughs> some Mercuricone. The old school. Old school. The red stuff, your grandma. Mercuricone. Uh-huh. <laughs> Rock team. Eat this meal. Guess, guess what kind of dandruff shampoo Job in the Bible days used? <laughs> what kind? <laughs> suffer eight. <laughs> Cause he suffered. <laughs> Cause he suffered. <laughs> Jackson. Y'all know Deacon Walt Jackson? Yeah. His funeral's gonna be tomorrow at 11 o'clock in the morning. You going with me, Jane? Yeah. He was 95 and he was suffering from sickle cell, loose fingernails, hair cancer, kidney stones, 
Loose miles. <laughs> Dead skin. <laughs> and cradle cap. <laughs> but Janie, that ain't what killed him. <laughs> he died when he had tried to change the oil on his truck. <laughs> and forgot to jack it up first. And got stuck, got stuck under there and suffocated. Ain't that a shame? <laughs> but one thing about it, Janie, he didn't suffer. <laughs> Man, look who just walked in the studio, crack. Y'all give it up for Miss Bernice Jenkins. Yes. She said she was pregnant. I said, everything's Gucci. Everything's Gucci. Everything's Gucci. Everything is Gucci. Everything. Oh, I don't believe it. In the church version, that means everything's going to be all right. Everything's Gucci. Griffin, you know Alice Janie. Yeah, yeah. Her daughter Shalitia won the second place <laughs> in the United States Double Dutch <laughs> Championship in Las Vegas. She was 19 years old and five foot two <laughs> and weighs 325. <laughs> Golly. Yeah, but she always been real light on her feet. <laughs> Tall and juicy. I love tall and juicy. Oh, wait. Oh, like a four foot something. <laughs> <laughs> the church gonna be taking the little women of Atlanta to Chuck and Cheese this Saturday. If you got any other kids that wanna go, please sign up with Brother Fuller. Oh. <laughs> the tickets for the Fall Jubilee. Program are on sale today. They are only six dollars in advance and eight dollars at the door. <laughs> <laughs> Special guest performance is our uh, Kurt Franklin's cousin Willie Franklin Jr. <laughs> Yolanda Adams' sister-in-law Gloria Adams. <laughs> <laughs> And Fred and Fred Hammond's Barbara, Otis Turner. <laughs> Couldn't find nobody in the family. She said, you got your ticket. I said, everything's Gucci. <laughs> pray hard, pray hard, pray hard for 98-year-old Deacon Bobby Tubman. You know Deacon Bobby Tubman? You know, he's in the ICU at the uh, county hospital <laughs> over there at uh, Grady Parkland, Cooper Green. <laughs> Memorial Hospital. <laughs> he been fighting, uh, the paper said he been fighting hepatitis A, B, E. And a rib cage infection. <laughs> you get that? <laughs> Two sprained ankles. A collapsed lung. Stab wounds to his leg. Ooh. All day sneezing fits. <laughs> Midday sneezing fits. <laughs> Morning sneezing fits. <laughs> In the tub sneezing fits. <laughs> Doing sex sneezing fits. <laughs> All the sneezing fits. <laughs> Sneezing <laughs> Black pepper 
for sneaking. <laughs> Everything Gucci sneezing <laughs> But that ain't what put him in the hospital. That ain't what put him in the hospital. He was getting in line at Sam's Club. And stepped on a bag of tomatoes that somebody had dropped on the floor and slipped and busted his head down to the white meat. And guess what, and guess what he did when he fell, Johnny? He sneezed. <laughs> Crack it, it is that time. Miss Bernice Jenkins in his house. Janie! Yeah! You got your tickets? Uh, no! You know, Sister Hess is going to be in concert at the Chicago Theater. Yeah, you going? We going. I got I got my ticket. I got your ticket. They said they had the place seat about 3,500 people. If you haven't heard of Sister Hester, here go a clip of, of, of one of her songs. Okay. It's just Tickets now. They will be on sale at the fellowship hall. In the fellowship hall at the service, the venue seats 3,500 people. Sister Hannah will be in concert. Listen, it was our favorite. Not this. Here's another clip just in case. Here you go, Miss Janie. You get your tickets. This week from noon to 5 p.m., her husband Cleavon and their son Xavier will be washing cars and selling smoked sausage sandwiches and German Shepherd puppies all week in the church parking lot to raise money to get her dialysis machine back from the pawn shop. Dick Turner and his wife Sheila is asking for prayer for their baby Claymont. He's only five months old, was born with a full set of adult teeth. Janie! And they can't get him to eat nothing but sliced ham, buffalo chicken fingers, and potato salad. 
So y'all make sure y'all help them and support them. We got a funeral. Janie, we got a funeral on Saturday. Yeah, the pastor's older brother, Lamont Harper, uh, passed away tragically over the weekend. He was 81 and had took six pills. Thought it was B12 vitamins, but they was... <laughs> But they was Viagra. Oh. <laughs> then he had a heart attack and his grandkids found him dead. Oh, in no. the bed when they looked, they when they looked in there, they <laughs> 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 when they looked in there, they thought he was <laughs> <laughs> They thought he was playing circus tent. <laughs> And they wanted to climb up under there with him. <laughs> but his grandmother said, uh-uh. That ain't no broom. <laughs> What's up, man? It's 11 minutes after the top of the hour. And guess what time it is? Miss Bernice Jenkins has arrived in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Janie, let's ride that bus to California. Oh! We, we need to get out there to California. <laughs> let's rent a car and go to California. <laughs> we need to be out there to California. <laughs> I say, I want to hurry up and then I want to go down. <laughs> like that song there. Yes. Uh, need to go to California. Jana, you want to go to California? Yeah, uh-uh. uh-uh. <laughs> you know them bus tickets cheap. <laughs> oh, I can't be riding no bus. Mm-mm. I stopped riding the bus. I got the uh got to that church up there, rode the bus up there to Virginia. <laughs> and didn't realize the back of my hair was mashed down. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Lord, Lord. A long bus ride. Oh yeah. Here's our church announcer this morning and govern yourself. Oh, oh, Congratulations to Mother Leona Rockwell's husband. <laughs> Mother Leona Rockwell, husband, uh, Horace. You know, he's 87. All right. And, but he light skin and got wavy hair and just <laughs> got a new contract to model adult diapers. <laughs> <laughs> For the new Sean John Senior uh, Citizens Underwear line. <laughs> Jamie, you know Puffy. Yeah. Uh-huh. They got uh, adult divers. <laughs> and Horace, Horace Rockwell going to be modeling. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're not going to be in magazine. They're going to advertise in, like, the local, the black newspaper. Oh, Lord. And they're going to be on back of church fans. <laughs> Probably in the corner of some obituaries. Oh, no. Brought to you by Sean John's Senior Citizens Adult Divers Underwear Line. Oh. All members with athlete's foot. Uh -oh. All members with athlete's foot in extreme toe jam. Uh, please. Ask to please, please, please wrap your feet in Ziploc bags before getting baptized. <laughs> Can't have fungus in the water. Can't have fungus in the water. Can't have fungus in the water. No. We can. <laughs> again, Brett. Can't have fungus in the water. Can't have 
can't have fungus in the water. Can't have fungus in the water. No, we can't. Please send a card or flower. Send a card or flowers. Send a card or flowers. To the family of Deacon Willie Charles Pittman. And you know, he was 93 years old. Yeah. And was suffering from liver spots. Arthritis. And periodic neck. Why? <laughs> don't know what it is. Next <laughs> But Janie, that ain't what killed him. What killed him was he was jet skiing down in Fort Lauderdale, down there with Pastor Marcus Davis and them. And then he had rubbed himself down with fish oil for his dry skin. <laughs> And fell into the water and got ate by two sea lions. <laughs> Galva, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Miss Bernice Jenkins into his ass. Yeah. Yeah. Jeannie. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good this morning. Let's go. Just another day that the Lord has kept me. <laughs> you know they need to let me sing that song. <laughs> Every time I ask for a solo, the pastor says no. Why? I asked him to sing the other Sunday, he said no. I asked him to sing last Sunday, he said hell no. Uh -uh. <laughs> I said, what kind of preacher is this? Our <laughs> <laughs> uh, 100 women in black stockings and white shoes program. <laughs> been canceled oh, to further notice. <laughs> Janet, were you going to participate in the 100 women in black stockings and white shoes? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Got to keep that going. I don't care if it ain't in style no more. Got to keep that going. <laughs> Due to nastiness, sundress season has been canceled. <laughs> Child, I'm glad they did because some of this stuff is outrageous what these folks have on with these sundresses. Half of them ain't got no drawers on. Half of them got muffin tops and back fat. Standing behind one in line at McDonald's looked like her back was frowning. I said, what your back frowning for? What your back frowning for? Sundress season is canceled. <laughs> Pitiful. Walking through. You ought to see the hot, how they walk around. You see him, Jane, walking around the mall, how they looking? Flip flops on. Sliding. Walking around with the hair tied up. Sundress on looking just as funky. <laughs> funky? Don't no man want a funky woman. <laughs> Josie didn't wear no drawers, funky woman. I saw her when she pulled them off. Funky woman. She put them in the washing machine. Funky woman. Her drawers didn't come out clean. Funky woman. She put them on top of the house. Funky woman. The funky Mickey Mouse. <laughs> she put him on the train track. The funky woman. The train start backing back. The funky woman. She gave him to Santa Claus. Funky woman. Santa Claus don't want no funky draws. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
No way! <laughs> Jim! Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you hit it, Martin. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I don't like no fucking draws either. No fucking draws. <laughs> <laughs> the pastor need to raise money to get breast implants and some good old good Beyonce weed for the first lady. Uh-uh. Okay. Mm-mm. He says she a good woman, but she real slim with that low haircut and a flat chest, making feel like he going to bed every night with a little bow. <laughs> You got to raise this man. Janie, you know it's going to be a triple funeral service this Saturday at 11 o'clock. The Hampton, you know the Hamptons? Yeah. They lost their grandfather, Rufus. Oh, gee. Yeah, he was 98 and was attacked by a pack of wild squirrels at the park. <laughs> and the Smith lost their Uncle Leonard, who's 54. He got ran over by a drunk boy dagger speeding on a hoverboard. <laughs> and the, the Jacksons lost their son, Bebe. He shot himself trying to show some girls that he could juggle loaded pistols. <laughs> And congratulations, we're going to end on something positive. Congratulations to Cleavon and Millicent Rogers. You know them, Jamie? Yeah. They celebrating their 23rd wedding anniversary this week. <laughs> and they stayed together even though Cleavon didn't slept with the whole soprano section in the Gospel Jubilee Choir. <laughs> and Sister Banks' two-year-old twins look just like him. <laughs> but, but ain't none of that in my business. Happy anniversary anyway. That concludes our church of name. I'll call you later on, Jamie. <laughs> My favorite grandmama, Miss Bernice Jenkins. Yeah. Yeah. I love to praise him. Yes, I do. I love to praise him.
<laughs> that you might need to volunteer. <laughs> if you sang soprano or direct the choir, <laughs> there might be a chance. <laughs> if you make your own shirts, <laughs> there might be a chance. <laughs> if you fart and then go, the only Bernie's Jenkins. Yay! It's may be my last time. It may be my last time. I don't know. This may be my last time. This may be my last time. Children, this may be my last time. May be my last time. I some of these bills. That's right. These other men out here, they ain't got nothing. No, Lord, ain't. They ain't got nothing. Want to come lay up on you. Mm-hmm. Eat up your food. 
You mm-hmm. you like Dr. Carly got some money, baby. Mm-hmm. All these folks got Medicaid. They getting some kickback to them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Good morning, Dr. Carly. Good morning. Yes. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Now, uh, why can you get this fluid off my knees? I can get that fluid off your knees, no problems. And yeah. give you a knee massage afterwards. That's <laughs> Janie. All right now. You hear that, Janie? Yeah. Maybe my last time. I don't know. <laughs> here that church and now you know the Earth Board is asking all men to please keep your shoes on during morning worship. Sister Mitchum says some of y'all had your shoes off with your feet up under the pews last Sunday and had the whole back side of the church smelling like barbecue corn chips and onions. <laughs> Not, but I like the way them chili cheese Fritos smell. I love chili cheese Fritos. Now, if your child is getting baptized, and you know they already severely overweight. The pastor is asking that you get in the water with him to help to help dip him down in there <laughs> because his back is still thrown out from last week when he had dipped Hattie Gibbons' grandson Jimmy, who is seven years old and weigh almost two hundred pounds. <laughs> We not dipping all these little babies in the water and they weigh too much. Stop making them eat so much. <laughs> and give them a bath before you put them in there. <laughs> Last Sunday was a ring around the pool. <laughs> Brother Burwell got gout and ain't going to be cleaning out that nasty baptismal pool. Oh, no. <laughs> and it's a sin to put in the water. <laughs> Because you know them bubbles come up and they pop. <laughs> and they smell right there in the pastor's face. It ain't right. Oh, my God. <laughs> Congratulations to Deacon Luther Grissom, who turned 105 on Monday. Y'all clap for Deacon Luther Grissom. Happy birthday to him, 105. And, you know, uh, we went to Golden Corral. Okay. And he went to Golden Corral with his four son, with four of his friends. And all of them over 100 years old. Isn't that awesome, Dr. Collins? That is awesome. Longevity to church. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and Jamie, as soon as they got through, as soon as they got through the line to get their food, they all died except for Dick and Grissom. <laughs> so the manager let him eat his meal for free. <laughs> Did he get him a coupon too? <laughs> he gave him a coupon. Nine minutes before the top of the hour. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Bernice Jenkins has arrived in the studio. What's yeah! Up? Yes. What would you like coming, Janie? Yeah! Yeah, you barbecuing this year? Yeah! You, what you cooking? Baked beans, potato salad, macaroni and cheese, and... Uh, I'll make that macaroni and cheese. Let me make that macaroni and cheese for you. I got some extra. You have? Yeah, I got that government cheese that came in. Miss Bernice. Yeah. Do you know whose birthday it is today? Ooh. Yeah, with the teeth. You lying to me. He got money pinned to him, but it's not in a cool place. You know, I believe, I believe it because we came along around by the same age. How old is he? 72. <laughs> 73. You ain't gonna claim it. Don't be ashamed. How long the Lord let you live? Yes. Don't be ashamed to show His grace and mercy. Yes. <laughs> Don't be ashamed that He woke you up in the mouth. Yes. <laughs> Don't be ashamed that He let you live to see another year. Yes. Don't 
be a shame. <laughs> Did you got a job to go to? Yes. Don't be a shame. <laughs> that you ain't laying in this room right now with the rest of us. Right. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Why you don't sound excited? I know. I, I'm, I'm Miss Bernie's. I'm very excited, but you know, I, I guess uh, it's just another day for me. Well, pray hard for the family of 89-year-old Mother Beulah Goggins. <laughs> She's recovering from a bad hip replacement surgery. The doctors made a mistake and put a left hip on her right side. <laughs> and now she can walk in circles and can't help it. <laughs> yeah, right. hip. And we the church definitely want to wish Gary with the T. <laughs> who is so old mm. that he let Jesus use his car to take his driver's license test. <laughs> Gary also had just turned 27 in 1962 <laughs> when he got out of going to Vietnam because, you know, he couldn't walk with his combat boots on without, <laughs> without twisting and can on. <laughs> We're not going to let you be in the army walking around here. Everybody else marching these around here. Around here switching like a cat. <laughs> Twisting and turning and can on. <laughs> Gary on the proud list, Janet, uh, this morning for his birthday. And every last one of them ugly shirts he be wearing. The church is offering to send the church van over to gather them all up and set them on fire while the choir sang going up yonder. <laughs> and finally, since it's Gary's birthday, we're going to recognize in memorial the death, the death of Gary's heterosexuality. It lived a very short life. All right, now. Mm -hmm. And they knew it was gone when he was about seven years old. Yeah. And discovered for some reason that he want to fight whenever a girl tried to kiss him. <laughs> Gary Straightness passed away peacefully in his sleep. <laughs> Back in his hometown of Port Arthur, Texas. <laughs> And it's survived by his good Judy's, <laughs> Miss Aaron, yeah. Miss Byron, yeah. and B.E. James. <laughs> Happy birthday, Gary. Thank you. <laughs> Jane, I'll call you. It's 10 minutes after the top of the hour. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Miss Bernice Jenkins into his eyes. Janie, 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 I got good news this morning. What is that? Jesus is still alive. He's alive. <laughs> He's alive. God is still alive. Uh oh. He's alive. He's alive. God still is alive. Janie. Yeah. <laughs> a good song now. They don't sing that one no more. And, no. They, and they don't sing that old account was settled long ago. No. Long ago, down on my knees. Long ago, I said, oh, dear. And the old account was settled long ago. Hallelujah. And the record lives today. For he washed my sins away. And the old account was settled long ago. <laughs> Uh -oh. Remember that one, Janie? <laughs> Here's our church announcements. Govern yourself. Accordingly. Congratulations to Deacon Stanley Watkins. 
He won the uh, the collard green eating contest at the summer festival dinner on Saturday. He ate a pound. Uh, he ate a pound each of mustard greens, <laughs> turnip greens, collard greens, and cabbage <laughs> in just under four minutes. And Janet, then he blew up the, the men's restroom in the fellowship hall for 45 minutes. <laughs> and it will not be reopened until August. August. <laughs> August. <laughs> so he ate all them greens in under four, four minutes and spent 45 minutes. Mm, mm, mm. They say that bathroom is gone. They almost had to demolish the church. It was so funky. <laughs> Good and funky in there. Funky. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Happy birthday to Brother Larry Wiggins Jr. You know Brother Larry? Uh, he's been a faithful member of this church all his life. And uh, you know he was born with a full third arm on his right side. And we always appreciate him always sitting next to Deacon Carpenter who lost his arm in a tree chopping accident. <laughs> so Larry uses his extra arm to help him clap when the choir is singing. <laughs> and we lost another member of the Deacon Board. Lord Jesus! <laughs> Janie, you know 58-year-old Deacon Leon Braxton. He went into the hospital to get transplants on both his legs. And he was doing good, but one of his legs was just too, sh was too short. And when he went back to work, as a toll booth operator, he went to step out to pick up some change that had fell on the ground. And got ran over by a dude speeding through there in an F-150 pickup truck. I said, Lord, Jesus. <laughs> and you know, uh, you know Miss Smith's grand, uh, grandbaby going to be singing at his funeral. And uh, here's a clip of her singing I Won't Complain at the last funeral she sung. Listen. Oh, Lord. What song that I had to sing? I had some good days. I had some, I had some good had days. Some I had some bad you days. Know my good days my, my good days outweigh my bad days. I won't complain. Turn it up, uh, uh I boy. Have some good days. <laughs> All right. Yes. I had some hills to climb. <laughs> All of my weary days. Here we go, Jane. Why? Yeah. Why? Yeah. He knows. He knows. Yes. What's best for me? I know you say that sometimes, Jamil. Jamil, even though my weary eyes can see. Here you go, Jane. Here you go, Jane. So right now, right now, I said thank you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah.
look who just walked in the beautiful wearing her green turtle dress with real turtle shells miss bernice jenkins is in his eyes <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, oh, what a wonderful child, Jesus, Jesus, so holy, meek and mild, new life, new hope, to all that brings, listen, to the angels sing, Glory, glory, glory to the new bird. <laughs> yes, glory. Well, we again. You like that? You better sing. Glory, glory, glory to the new bird. Can't <laughs> get up there in mind. Anyway, here's our church announcement. The family of Brother Marvin Millwood sex change. Uh, the family of Brother Marvin Millwood. Uh, you know, his sex change is complete now. Oh, oh Lord. And his new name is Marlene. <laughs> <laughs> and he has quit singing in the men's choir to sing with the female gospel jubilee singer. <laughs> and he will be selling all of his suits downstairs after service. Uh oh. <laughs> and he needs one of y'all from the motherboard to take him shopping for some new hats on Monday. I told you a long time ago, Jaden, that he was wavy. <laughs> wavy. No, I told you he was wavy. Hitting them high notes like that. <laughs> now, this is not our church. Uh, this is Mount Carmel Baptist Church. They sing your choir died. A whole choir? Uh -huh. Every last one of them. What? It just be that way sometimes. <laughs> Here's the sick and shut in this. Janie, you off the sick and shut in this, ain't you? Yeah. We thank the Lord. Well, you know, Sister Tashika Hunter. You know, she got baptized Sunday and. Her behind so big that the pastor had trouble getting getting her to go all the way down in the water, so he got to baptize her again. Jester, who is in the hospital after a tragic accident last week, <laughs> boy, boy Scout troop leader Hank Jester, uh, his troop was at the petting zoo, <laughs> and he was attacked by a billy goat <laughs> that was mixed with a pit bull, <laughs> and it bit two of his fingers off when he tried to feed it some Vienna sausages. <laughs> a billy bull. <laughs> A Billy Bull. <laughs> they got bit by that Billy Bull. <laughs> also, pray for 87 year old Walt Turnip Seed, who finally realized his dream of joining the, the Kappa Alpha Psi fraternity. And uh, he was at a step show, and they put him in. <laughs> They put him in a stroll. And he threw that cane way up in the air. Forgot. He got. Let me, let me start over. Pray for 87 year old Walt Turnip C, who finally realized his dream of joining Kappa, Kappa Alpha Psi fraternity. He was uh, 
at a step show and they put him in a stroll. <laughs> And we threw that cane way up in the air, forgot to catch it, and he hit him in the neck and paralyzed. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Bernice Jenkins is in the building. And good morning, good Janie. Where's Janie? I came here, Janie. Uh -huh. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. And did you see uh, TV yeah. One last night? Yeah, I've seen it all the way up to 2 o'clock this morning. And it was good, baby. It sure was. I love what he, that, that show, uh, The Bride and uh, 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 Gary, and then they put juice in the little table. Yeah. And pushed it in there. <laughs> trying to spy on, uh, what's his name? Hey, love him. Hey, love yeah, him. uh huh, uh huh, and he caught him. <laughs> he caught him. They shouldn't have put her in there like that. Put it in that fire. <laughs> it seemed like a good idea at the time. And then, and then, uh, uh Ricky didn't send that baby off to the army. Yeah. Ain't he that something? It's all hard. Yeah. It's all D. But he was sharp, baby. Yeah, sharp as a casket. Yes, he was. Yes, he yeah. was. Send him on. Yeah. He said he wanted to be something that made me proud. I know that's the truth. Made me thought about uh, 50, 56 years ago when I had Melvin. <laughs> <laughs> what it made me think about when I had Melvin? You ain't gonna try to get no more. No, uh, no, baby. You know these tubes old. I can't get pregnant. <laughs> no, I ain't finna let them nigga come in here. <laughs> Mm -mm. You won't come in my house. <laughs> Pants sagging and dreadlocks, hair all down your back, all of them. Something wrong with all of them. Nan coming in here. Oh, mm -mm. I'm at peace. I don't want nothing. I don't want to be bothered with no children. Nothing. <laughs> all I want to do is watch Family Feud and, and Judge, Judge Matthews and Joe Brown. And make a take care of nine and then and go to church on Sunday. I'm trying to see Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know, choir rehearsal has been moved to 7 p.m. Saturday because we have a wedding at 1 p.m. Oh, okay. Um, Billy Hall is getting married. Billy Hall is getting married to Tasha Wall. <laughs> and it's not a big wedding. They're keeping it small. <laughs> the reception is going to be over behind the mall. <laughs> with music provided by DJ Paul. <laughs> and if you need directions, just give me a call. <laughs> you, oh, <laughs> you should have been on the Ricky and Smiley it, for Real show last I night. I sure feel that if they don't understand that, then they don't need to be listening at all. <laughs> Get up and walk without my cane, I might fall. <laughs> oh, church members. I ain't got no more. All oh, church members that are black Republican voting for Donald Trump are invited to come over here tomorrow night at 7 p.m. to watch. A special screening of the Roots miniseries. Uh -oh. Just so you'll know what the hell you asking for. <laughs> I want you to know. You gonna vote for Donald Trump, come over here and watch Roots and see where your ass gonna be. <laughs> anyway, you know are we having the funeral services for Mother Pat Tyson, who is 98 years old, passed away. Uh... <laughs> In the van trip on the way from the casino in Biloxi. <laughs> now we believe that we lost us. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> 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 We'll be having a 
funeral service for Mother Pat Tyson, who was 98 years old. <clears throat> and passed away in the van on the trip from the casino in Biloxi. And we believe that we lost her somewhere between Louisiana and Mississippi. And we don't have don't have the money to send her back home to Dallas. So we just packed her up in some dry ice and gonna leave her in the van until we can drive her back on tomorrow. <laughs> so we apologize. The money is tight and we just don't have it right now. So we're going to send her back to Dallas and she's going to be down there probably at Golden Gate because, shoot, Golden Gate get them doggone bodies. You think you had a Cowboys game. You go to them funeral. That's a funeral home bus station right there. <laughs> so that concludes our church our church announcement. Y'all keep everybody lifted up in prayer. Have a nice day, Janie. I'll see you downtown. <laughs>